You can see uh, Sophie's gift, our Sophie Ivke, wakes up late. You can just see the bud starting to open uh, April uh, 16th. So she's a late, late uh, to wake. You can see Mount Roman Kosh just budding right now. Uh, this one is allegedly less hardy than Nikita's gift. Negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit uh, said to be. However, we had a negative 16 temperature this winter, and yet Roman Kosh survived without any issues. So that uh, hardiness rating may be variable depending on the duration of the cold uh, as well as the actual temperature itself. V. Derevyanko is allegedly a pure khaki. However, it is enduring negative double-digit temperatures, so I'm skeptical that this is a, a full 100% khaki persimmon. Kitska Yaburovaya, Nikita's gift, just beginning to put buds uh, into motion. You can see uh, she suffered a little damage this winter. Uh, some of the branches were zapped by the cold, others were not. Um, not sure why that is, uh, seeing as Mount Roman Kosh had no damage. Dr. Kazas, you can see, strolled right through this winter, no problems. The buds are big and green. Journey may be the earliest to wake up of my hybrid persimmons. You can see the buds are already well formed. The bud shields have moved aside long ago. She was waking up before everyone else, so. The local nursery had some bald and burlapped rootstocks, so these are not grafted yet, but they will be uh, in about a month and a half. This one's going to be Adolf Lishuk, which is a Ukrainian hybrid variety with large fruit, but not very delicious. It's mostly useful because it's hardy down to negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit, which is useful to persimmon breeders. And this other rootstock is going to be Nikita number four, which is a grandchild of Nikita's gift, much like Dar Sofievki. Uh, it will be grafted at the same time. Bark grafts, of course.